The list of 100 wetland titles due for cancellation reads like a who is who of leading individuals and names in Kampala. They include Stulu Aparela's Peak Resort Munyonyo, designer Sylvia Awari's Makindeka Ukplot, Rosebud Limited in Lutembe Beach, the NSSF land in Temangalo purchased from Security Minister Amama Mbabazi, and the Accurate Project in Namanve. Other plots belong to Godfrey Nyakana in Bugolobi and Kinawataka, Ambrosil International School in Bugolobi, Shamuk Investments in Banda, and the Alam Group Limited in Banda, among others. To make sure that the Constitution and the Land Act are not violated, but also to make sure that the integrity of wetlands is restored. More condemned to wetland titles belong to Hassan Wasajja Balaba, Patrick Bitature, Mukwano Industries, the Islamic University in Uganda, Mega Industries, Ntaki Bakery, and many others. We are talking about people who have the money and also who are well informed, meaning that they are violating the law, not because they are ignorant, but maybe because they think that they are above the law. However, the Nema boss tried to exonerate the speak resort in Munyonyo. Munyonyo, there is no sanitation. Grass, trees planted. Any building found on the wetland plot will be demolished after the cancellation without compensation. No matter who you are, as long as you are illegally in an area, we will remove you. Why should you violate the, the law and the constitution and you expect to be compensated? Most of these wetland plots were allegedly allocated on orders from above. Now time will tell if NEMA will take on the powers that be to reclaim Uganda's wetlands. Agnes Nandutu, NTV Parliament.